Hey guys, I'm Andy with webgardener.com and today I'm just going to be going over a quick little tutorial on using QFlash with the Gigabyte Gaming 6 motherboard that I've got in my computer next to me. Um, what I want to go over real quick is the uh, grabbing the BIOS updates. You can see right here on Gigabyte's website. Basically just going to jump to motherboard. Uh, we're going to go to gaming series and then grab the Z170 chipset. And right there is the link for gaming six. Jump in here, go to downloads, and grab your BIOS. And you can see they've got the latest F21 version available. So just grab wherever you want to uh, grab the file from and off you go. Now when it comes to your flash drive, um, one of the things that you want to consider is in order for the motherboard to read the flash drive and be able to grab the BIOS file updates, it needs to be formatted as a FAT32 drive. Now the challenge there is in Windows, if you just right click on the drive and hit format, you'll notice if the drive is larger than 32 gigabytes, you're not actually going to have the option to format it as a FAT32. Uh, limitations in the uh, file system limit you to 32 gigabytes or smaller. So if your flash drive is larger than that, you're kind of out of luck with using just the basic Windows features. Now, one of the advantages here is you can check out on this website. I found this little app. It's very, very easy to use. You just click on the image there to download it. And you basically just specify which drive you're using and format it as FAT32. What this application will do is break it into a 32 gigabyte allocation. However, it doesn't limit the total size, meaning if you have a 64 gig flash drive, you're still gonna be able to use all 64 gigs or the calculated 58 point whatever, um, but it will be formatted as a FAT32 using the smaller allocation sizes, so it's still capable. Um, so just wanted to keep that in mind because uh, I found that it was a bit frustrating trying to go through and after messing around with it on command prompt and it just kept failing and just giving me all sorts of errors, I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm going to go find something. All right, so I've got my 64 gig flash drive, which we have now formatted to 32 gigs. And so what we're going to do is on the back of the computer, let me just try to get a good location for it we are going to basically just pick any USB port. Doesn't matter which one it is. And so you can see I'm just gonna plug it in there. And now, we'll go ahead and boot it up. So, power button way up here at the top, because that's convenient for me. And now as the computer is booting up, what I'm gonna do is tap the delete key to go into the BIOS. Once it comes up, there we go. And let me get it where you don't have so much glare. Okay. So on here, we're going to come down to the bottom here in the corner, and I'm going to click on Q Flash. And boom, right there, you can see it already recognizes what it is. So we're going to update the BIOS here. So we're just going to click that. And notice right there is our file that we downloaded. So that's the one we want. I'm going to hit next. Can't read the file. Why not? No, you just have to double click it. That makes sense. Now, notice we've got a couple different modes. We've got fast and we've got intact. I am going to do intact because I feel that that's going to be a more stable support. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And there you can see it's updating. And again, I do apologize for the shakiness of the video. Um, I'm using a little webcam to record all of this with another computer, obviously since my main computer is not currently on. Uh, it has finished backing up the main BIOS. However, the Gaming 6 does have redundant BIOS. So, BIOS? BIOS is? I believe BIOS. Anyway, uh, so what we're doing now is uh, updating the backup BIOS. And basically what that does is allows it that if you have any kind of chip failure on the motherboard, you don't actually lose your motherboard. Uh, it's going to actually be able to recover that from that secondary uh, BIOS. So hopefully it's clear enough. 
that you guys can see what that is. And, you know, obviously the interface now supports a pretty nice GUI, so you've got some mouse and keyboard capabilities, uh, which makes it pretty convenient to be able to navigate through rather than having to go old school alt tab control stuff. Uh, and there you can see we have finished it and it's going to reboot the computer. So I kind of show you what does there. You can see the motherboard posting and going through all of its codes. Um, you know, just giving us some information on what's happening and how that's rolling. And we should get some windows here in a moment. Come on. Okay, it just actually recycled a second time. Uh, looks like it was just verifying and checking. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the BIOS just to double check. And where do we have it? Okay. There we go. So now you can see I am now on BIOS version F21, which is beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, actually, while I'm in here, we're just going to double check some memory settings. Oh, it's disabled. We want profile one, which you can see is going to go from the default 2133 megahertz up to 3200, which is the RAM that I currently have installed. And I'm not going to adjust any other settings. Um, you know, chipset is basically working the way I want it to. I'm not doing a whole lot of overclocking and things like that. So we are going to save and reboot. And we should see Windows come back to us here momentarily once the motherboard goes through its little checks. Still going through its checks. So a lot of times when you do updates and changes to the BIOS, there it goes, it's posting now. Um, I have noticed it'll take it a couple seconds before it actually, you know, starts posting and going through all of that. And I believe it's because it's verifying the BIOS and doing its backup and everything. So, and there we have it. Windows is loaded. All right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, gaming 6 gigabyte motherboard with a Z170 chipset. Uh, does in fact support the uh, Q Flash BIOS update. Um, now, I did have some questions about uh, they couldn't find the white USB port on there. Keep in mind with Gigabyte, that is the Q Flash Plus feature, which just allows it to automatically identify it. Uh, unfortunately, that is not supported by this motherboard. This one does the Q Flash, which allows you to plug in the USB drive and then go to the BIOS and tell it to update from there. Um, so hope that clarifies things for guys. And of course, if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll see what else I can do. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, press like, if you didn't like it, say you didn't like it. So have a great one. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah.